guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time on my channel, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you this golden holiday inspired makeup look, which is super easy to create. But before I go in with any eyeshadow, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids. I use my favorite primer, which I use in every damn video. It's the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Um, it's my absolute favorite, um, if you don't know by now, if you're new to my channel you probably don't know, but I use it in every single video. I just really like it and I applied it with a Sigma P84 brush. Now in today's video I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette, which is one of their new palettes. This is a look that I also made using this palette, which I posted a few videos back. I will make sure to put the link in the description bar. Um, but today I'm gonna use the palette again and today we're gonna do a little bit more of an easier look and using some golden shades. But the first color I went in with is this orangey brownish beautiful color which I'm gonna blend all over in the crease. Um, it's quite pigmented so as you can see like this is the only color I'm gonna blend in my crease first. But it already like really warms up the crease which is really nice. And the brush I used for this is a Morphe M504, which is a super big fluffy blending brush. It's really nice for if you want like one soft color for all over in the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. It's like really big and fluffy. So you will blend it all over your eyelid basically and all over your crease. Then now I'm gonna take this color, which is called Honey. This is like a really beautiful golden shade. Um, I definitely wanted to do a look using this shade because I feel like when you look at the palette, I feel like this shade kind of stands out and the palette is called Honey. So I felt like I need to do at least one look using the shade Honey because the palette is called Honey. So if that makes sense, <laughs> but I wanted to use it all over the eyelids to really create that golden base. And then after I packed on all the eyeshadow, I took a tinier blending brush and blended a little bit around the edges. So the matte shade in my crease and the shimmery shade on the eyelids kind of melt together and that it doesn't look like it's really packed on. You want it to kind of blend into each other. So now I'm taking this dark shade, which I think is the darkest matte shade in the palette. I'm, I'm gonna take a Sigma Beauty E25 brush and I'm gonna apply this in the outer V area. I do have to say maybe it would be smarter if I would apply this before going in with the golden shade on the eyelids because now I'm kind of blending it on top of the shimmery shade and normally I don't really like to apply matte shades on top of shimmery shades because this will kind of create that this dark brown shade is also gonna look shimmery and I don't really like to have like a shimmery outer V area. So if you recreate this, I would suggest to first go in with the first color we blended all over in the crease, then apply this shade and then apply the golden all over the eyelid. Don't make the same mistake as I did. I wanna prevent that for you guys. So now I'm taking this concealer, which is by Benefit Cosmetics. I apply a little bit like right underneath the outer V to make it look a little bit more smooth and clean. And then off camera, I also applied a little bit concealer underneath the eyes. Then I'm taking this shade, which we used all the way at the beginning for all the way in the crease area. And now I'm taking a tiny blending brush, which is the Morphe M507. And now I'm blending it also underneath the lower lash line to kind of make the same warmth underneath the lower lash line, just like we have in the crease area. So I just kept blending and blending and also kind of focusing to make the lower lash line connect with the eyeshadows in the outer V area. Then I'm taking this pencil from NYX Cosmetics, which I think I also used in the video. No, I did not. I used it in one of my previous videos. I think it's two videos back. This is a really beautiful pencil. It's by NYX, so it's also not super expensive, which is nice, but it's just a really beautiful golden pencil. Then now I'm gonna quickly curl the lashes. I always do this before going in with mascara. I'm actually gonna get my own natural lashes lifted next week, which I'm really excited for. But if I do it, I will definitely like let you guys know in my video because it's obviously gonna make a difference. So when I do, and when you see it in a video, I'm definitely gonna let you know that I did it. So now I use the Rollerless Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics, which is my all-time favorite mascara. I absolutely love it. And then for my lashes, I'm gonna take my own lashes from my brand Anytude in the style Sultry, and I'm gonna apply them right above the lash line. These are quite dramatic, but I feel like for holiday makeup looks, we can be a little bit more dramatic than usual, and yeah. 
I think we're good to go. This is the end of the video. I really hope you like the end result. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Also, let me know if you're going to try it out for the holidays or if you have something else in mind. Let me know and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.